I, I was very so uncomfortable. I was felt unsafe. Very alone with just a few animals. Yeah. I mean, my animals are everything to me. Well, yeah. So. I love your animals too, but it's just, they don't talk back. And if someone bar- barks into your house, the most they're going to do is want to be pet on. That's a lie. Twinkie would kick your fucking ass. Twinkie will bark. She ain't going to bite. See, the thing is, when a stranger comes in here, Twinkie goes crazy. And she's she doesn't bite. That's true. She doesn't bite. But I feel like if she knows I was like in danger or something, then she would probably bite. Like, because, you know, if she notices her mom, if she smells fear on me and the situation seems rough, then, you know. I don't know. But... Maybe, reason, maybe I am biased because she never acted like that, even meeting me for the first time. All she did was bark no, a little bit. No, because she could I feel, the floor she she could feel that I loved you. Right. Like, I'm not trying to be mean because me and Dana are, like, on it. Like, me and her are friends now. But obviously, at first, it was weird. Twinkie wouldn't even go near Dana. Like, at all. And Twinkie stopped going near Destiny. You didn't even ask Destiny for a long time. Because she feels how I feel. Um...